Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Lindsay Mark and today we're going to be talking about managing duplicate prospects in Pardot. It is August 2021 and this video is to prepare you for the coming Pardot prospect mailability functionality in winter 22 by helping you start cleaning your database uh, before this requisite change occurs. And we'll talk about the uh, identification of duplicates in two ways. Every edition will be able to um, view the export method and then the second method is using B2BMA with a prospect and activity data set. I'm really looking forward to showing you how to merge those prospects once they're identified. It's a little bit of a manual process if you're planning on doing it all in Pardot. If you have a lot of prospects that need to be merged and you're already syncing them over to Salesforce, you might consider using a tool in order to do your initial cleanup. Um, but this is just the quick and dirty manual way. First, we're going to upgrade the prospect mailability. Now, this is something that's been available since the summer 21 release, but it's going to be automatically enabled for everyone in winter 22. I'm in a demo account right now, and I'm going to say, let's get started. Uh, to upgrade, you have to click on the learn more. Always read through this so that you understand the considerations before moving forward. Since this is a demo account and it's relatively low impact because it's just a demo org, I'm going to upgrade. There's a bunch of content out there right now about prospect mailability. I just talked about um, a, a blog post of some of the things that you might consider doing to your prospect database after you upgrade. Now we're successfully upgraded. Okay, that was easy. All right, step two is that we are going to export our prospects. This might take a couple of minutes. I've already done it. You can do a simple CSV export. You don't have to do a custom one. I've already done this. So if we navigate over to part out settings and then down to exports, you'll see that I have um, a CSV file that you can download. This method is really great because any edition of Pardot can use this method. I am going to show you now what the spreadsheet looks like. So if you'll see here, I have a raw export. This is what the export looks like before I do anything to it. Um, I have a, um, a copy of this over here in my working copy, but I'll just show you end to end what this looks like. Now there's a couple of ways to, to attempt to do this. I am going to insert a column to the right of the email address first, and I'm going to say, is it a duplicate? All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say count if, and I'm going to select a range. So I'm gonna select a range from top to bottom here. And I am going to then specify D2 because that's the uh, specific cell that we're working on. And I'll say is greater than one. So there is no, Justine is not a duplicate. She is false. But in order to uh, duplicate this formula down through without any issues, I am going to freeze some of the cells. So I will freeze the column and uh, row for the range. And then I'm just gonna freeze the, the top uh, column here. And we wanna leave this one, this uh, number open so that it can replicate properly. So I've created that formula and there are two ways to make this replicate all the way down you either hit the little period in the corner here twice or you hold press and hold and um, scale it all the way down the column and from here the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to filter and I'm going to clear out any of the false and I only want to focus on the ones that are true and the next thing that I'm gonna do is, cause you see that they're not in order, I'm going to sort A to Z so that the duplicates um, align alphabetically for email address. The thing that you're gonna to wanna to look at here is if uh, perhaps there is something automated happening, like the connector is for some reason creating a duplicate when leads get imported. You'll see that this says created by uh, Salesforce. You might want to in, uh, investigate any campaigns where you're noticing a lot of duplicates to head off the problem um, at the root cause. I don't really have a lot of duplicates here. Um, as you can see, I am highlighting, I have 39 um, here divided by two is less than 20. 
And um, so I'm going to copy the email for Wes. Okay, so I'm going to go back to prospects and make sure that your view is all prospects so that you're not accidentally filtering anyone out. I'm going to look at Wes and you'll see that there are uh, more than one prospect with this email address. I'm going to select both of those prospects. If you have three or four of them, you can do it that way. And I'm going to select to merge those prospects. And you'll notice that the lead here has uh, far more information than the contact that got created within Salesforce. You might want to just double check that um, there are specific fields where you want to keep the information. You might also want to check the lists and the tags here. It looks like we want to keep all of the information for this first one. So we're going to say select all and then we will merge those prospects. Now, that's a really quick, easy way to do it manually. Uh, currently, there isn't a automated way to manage those duplicate prospects, but um, this is how you would do it for an individual prospect. Now that I've shown you how to identify those duplicates within Cell, we're going to take a similar approach with B2BMA. Now, I've already created this lens, but we're going to do it again. This requires not only that you are using B2BMA, but that you are also um, enabling the Pardot Prospect and Activity Dataset. Um, I am in the datasets, and you'll see I have Pardot Prospect and Activity. The first thing that I'm going to do with this lens is I am going to change the view. I am in chart mode. I'm going to go into table mode. I'm going to create a pivot table and you'll see I get a count of rows here and I'm going to want to group by email because I'm going to be looking for duplicates. And in order to filter down to just those that have duplicates, I'm going to say count of row is greater than one. So you can see all of these that have uh, duplicate values. And you can also do additional filters if you'd like. Perhaps you want to include additional information about uh, whether or not they're do not email or whether or not they've been archived. You can either filter those records out or you can include them in the data sets over here by adding additional columns. Um, I have everything that I need for my purposes of merging duplicates at the moment. So I'm going to share this by exporting with a download. If you don't have the option to download it in Excel or CSV format, then you might have a permissions issue where you need an additional permission set. So feel free to reach out to your admin if this is missing to request the ability to um, share this data. So you can download it in Excel. We're going to go through that similar process where we use this list in order to copy and paste over those email addresses and merge those records uh, as I just showed you. That's the, the quick and dirty method for identifying those duplicate prospects uh, within B2BMA. Thank you for joining us. And if you like this, please subscribe to our channel.